Good morning, Aquarius. This reading is for you. And I'm sorry, I'm upstairs right now because I have family downstairs. So I'm trying to find some a quiet space in order out in order to finish out these last few readings. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? This is a general reading. So make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, we got feeling the world. Feeling the world. We got the storyteller. Hmm. I'm going to take one more Aquarius. We also have a powerful move. Okay. I'm feeling like you can be doing some work in your community. Um, I feel like you are very generous with your time, Aquarius. You have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Okay. At the very bottom you have a time for healing. Balsamic moon. Okay. Aquarius. A time for healing. Uh, you did get this card. A powerful move. So... I do feel, and I do see that key there too. So it it could be that you are moving to a do, new destination. I feel like you may be physically moving right now. Your energy is the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're really tapping into, excuse me, your creative side. I feel like you're working on ideas, your creations. I feel like maybe you're working on your hobbies um, to keep you busy. Excuse me. I apologize. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're really working hard. You're trying to find balance, Aquarius. I see that you are healing at the moment. And I feel like you may be putting yourself into work. Whatever you're doing is going to bring you success. Whatever you are doing, Aquarius, it's going to bring you success. Make a wish on your situation. Yeah, you also have the Four of Wands as well. So this is going to bring you a lot of happiness, contentment, and success. Uh, this may also lead to a marriage. Um, and you have the High Priestess. Okay, so... At the bottom, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like in the past you were um, working on this situation. This could be a project that you're working on. This could be a love interest. This could be anything. This is a general reading. But I feel like you're working hard. You're trying to find balance in the situation. And you are kind of throwing the ideas at the wall to see what ideas... Of what really sticks. Um, and I feel like this may be. Very good for you actually. Because you have the nine of cups. And the four of wands. So I feel like whatever you're doing. Is bringing a lot of success. Keep doing it. Aquarius. And with the high priestess. I feel like she's holding secrets. Um, she's holding all the mysteries and I feel like you're trying to tap into that energy. I feel like you are wanting to know 
the secrets, the mysteries of a certain situation. Keep following your intuition. Keep going with your gut feeling, Aquarius. Nine times out of ten, your intuition, your, that gut feeling won't steer you wrong. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. That's actually been coming out a lot for a lot of the other signs as well. I'm feeling like this is a time for anxiety, even if it's in the back of your mind. I feel like there's certain fears and anxieties for what's coming. Um, this could be the economy. This could be with career or so forth. Because you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like these fears are very unwarranted. I feel like whatever it is you're working on, you're working on something that will add to your retirement. You're looking you're working on something that is leaving a legacy for the next generation. And I feel like it's bringing in or it will bring in a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity for you. You're going to get a lot of recognition recognition. <laughs> I cannot speak for nothing. I can't pull cards and I can't speak today so that's telling you something but I feel like it's going to give you a lot of recognition people are going to see you for the things that you've done Aquarius ten of cups wow okay how many great cards can we get in your reading Aquarius we have the ten of pentacles the ten of cups we have the nine of cups we have the four of wands we have, I mean, you are coming to the end of the cycle. You have two nines. You have two tens. So, yeah, you're definitely progressing into completing something that's going to be very successful for you. This is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness into your life. Very interesting, Aquarius. Very interesting. Okay, and you have the Five of Swords. So I feel like this has not come without so many challenges. And you may have a few more challenges ahead. You may have a few more debates or um, disagreements with someone that you're working with. Or someone in your relationship. You may have disagreements. Um, you also have the Five of Pentacles. So see, we have... Wow. We have 9-9, nine, 10-10, nine, ten, ten, five, 5 Those may be very important numbers for you this month. 9-9, nine, nine, ten, ten, five, 5 So I feel like with this energy, you are... I, I feel like you're moving away from the feeling of lack. With all of this great energy, I feel like you are moving away. You are running from anything that causes drama. Um, you no longer look at your bank account and say, man, do I have enough for this? Do I have enough for that? I feel like you're walking away from that feeling of lack. You're trusting that whatever you need is going to be provided. Whatever you need at the moment is there. Now you also have the Three of Cups at the bottom. So you may be going through celebrations with this Three of Cups, Four of Wands um, energy. You may be going through a lot of celebrations. Now this is the holiday season, so that's not very... Um, untypical of the situation, you know, but I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of joy being surrounded by people. And I feel like you're surrounded by people at the moment. I feel like there are people in your life who are being very supportive, they're giving you a pat on the back. So to say, 
Let's get some advice for Aquarius. What advice do we have for Aquarius, please? The devil, okay. Okay, Aquarius, I feel like, you know, you're moving away from things that bind you. But be careful about greedy people. Be careful about greed and materialism. That can kind of hook you pretty quickly. We also have the Five of Wands. So I feel like with this with this Five of Wands, I feel like you're you're gonna have challenges that you need to overcome. And I feel like those challenges are basically gonna set you back a little. But I feel like you're going to overcome them in the end. Um, these challenges may make you feel overwhelmed. They make may make you feel overburdened. Um, but I do feel like at the end of the situation, you still have the, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups. So you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like... These are just challenges. We can't go through life without challenges and obstacles. It's just not realistic. So I feel like you're going to be going through these things. You're going to feel overburdened. But keep the faith. Listen to your intuition, Aquarius. Um, you also have the lovers. So I feel like you may have love coming in when you least expect it. Or this could be your friends and companions supporting you. Um, the lovers was also initially the card of choices. So it could be that you need to make a choice in the situation to get the outcome that you desire. Okay, let's end off this reading with some oracle cards from the universe. Message from the universe, please, for Aquarius. Message for Aquarius. My outer experiences are a reflection of my inner condition, internal condition. Okay, so I feel like you have a very hard time hiding your emotions. So what you're feeling on the inside, if you feel scared, if you feel anxiety, I feel like you wear that all over your face. I feel like it's not easy for you to hide your emotions, Aquarius. I feel like it's written all over your face. And you have oneness is my true nature. Yeah, so tap into your spiritual side. Maybe meditate. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Okay. Now, this one is new. But I wanted to show you this one as well. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive. And the power I need when I am lost. Okay, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. And please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in the situation. And many blessings to you, Aquarius, love and light.